everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make a few spring decor pieces to bring into your home. So I picked up a uh, cloche at the Dollar Tree and I'm painting the base with a couple of coats of white paint. I cracked off a couple of pieces of styrofoam uh, so that I had a base to stick some flowers in as well as a base uh, for the rabbit so that it will be raised up a little bit. I chose some flowers uh, from my stash and then this one I added a little pearl to this to dress it up a little bit. So I go ahead and I put the flower into this base and then I'm going to choose a few other flowers from my stash. So I want the base to look a little vintage and worn, so I added some white wax, even though it comes out yellow, <laughs> um, and I'll wipe off the excess. And then I will dry it, and I will go over some areas um, with sandpaper to age it. I'm going to go ahead and glue on the flower base as well as the rabbit so then I can glue in the Spanish moss. So I take this straw-like material, I'm not real sure um, what it is, uh, but I kind of scrunch it up and then I stain it with a thinned out brown paint. And I'll go ahead and I'll dry it and I'll shape it into a bird's nest and then I'll uh, glue it um, on the base and then add the eggs. These eggs are from the Tim Holtz ideology line called Tiny Eggs, and I had colored them in alcohol ink, uh, which is also by Tim Holtz. I did end up trimming uh, some of the Spanish moss around the sides here because it was sticking out once I put the cloche top back on. I picked up this uh, wooden tag at the Dollar Tree and after I painted it white and I stamped it with the word hop, I decided I didn't like how it turned off, so uh, or turned out rather. So I ended up sanding everything off and I just went with a whitewash look. I 
I'm using the IOD letterpress stamp that I picked up at Sweet and Sassy Treasures. I'll put the link here in the description box. Um, so I spell out the word hop and I'm going to stamp it with black ink and then uh, press it onto the tag. Now this rabbit I actually um, made with air dry clay using the packaging that the Tim Holtz uh, salvaged rabbits came in. I picked up a couple of birdhouses at the Dollar Tree and with this one I'm taking off the front so that I can put some embellishments inside. I'm going to clean it up a bit with the razor and with some sandpaper and then I'm going to paint the whole thing white. For this bird's nest, I'm using Spanish moss with some Mod Podge added to keep it together. It's a little sticky to work with, but once it's dry, it will retain, it, retain the shape that I want. I'm going through my flower stash again to pick out what I want to use, and then I'll go ahead and glue uh, something inside the bird, birdhouse as well as the outside. I decided to add a few buttons to give the birdhouse a little bit of character. I'll go ahead and glue the bird's nest inside as well as the speckled eggs. Um, I dyed these with a blue paint and then I did a little splatter on them with a black paint to make it a speckled egg. I glue some more flowers on the outside and then I also add a couple more buttons. For the base of this birdhouse, I'm going to paint a plastic wine glass that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. But then I do decide that it's kind of plain looking, so I end up uh, gluing on this roping that I have on hand.
So I used the hot glue and I'll glue the base on as well as it. I'll add a couple more buttons to the front. I'm painting these candlesticks black so then so that I can use them for the bases for the other birdhouses. Uh, but then I'm going to paint the, paint them white. And the reason for this is so that I can uh, sand a little bit of the white away and it will make the candlestick look vintage because the black from underneath will show through. So I'm going to use the same technique for the birdhouse, first painting them black and then white and then using sandpaper to age them all. So here I am aging the candlesticks and the birdhouses with sandpaper. I picked up these wooden uh, flowers on a fence from the Dollar Tree and I had painted this one for another project but I didn't use it so I decided to add it to the side of this birdhouse. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue in some Spanish moss into the openings of the birdhouses to make them look kind of messy and like they're in use. Um, and then I add the bird's nest with the uh, speckled blue eggs and then I'll glue the birdhouses to the candlesticks and they're all done. I think these turned out so cute. I love the farmhouse vintage look and the techniques that I use to create uh, this aged um, vintage effect I learned from other crafty YouTubers here. So I wanted to ask you, my audience, um, who are your favorite DIY and crafty YouTubers? Go ahead and give them the shout out in the comments below. I'd love to follow them and see what they're doing. Um, thanks for watching. This is Jeannie with Makers Unify and have a DIY day.